All right. It's uh, been a minute since we've chatted on the workbench. So uh, I've got a few videos I'm trying to put together. Uh, people have asked for like, you know, things to expect as a new tech, what tools to buy, clothing, etc. cetera. Um, again, when I started, the mechanic I worked under had tools for me to use. Uh, and you just kind of, you know, once you were able to, or as, as much as you were able to, just pick away at them, get a tool bag. You don't need anything expensive, you know. Uh, in Canada here, uh, we have Canadian Tire. Great store. Um, they've started coming out with these Maximum tool line. Uh, really nice tools. The, the handles are identical to the Weha Classic Grip. Very nice. They're all color coordinated, so you can tell which ones you're going after, right? Um, and these are always going on sale. And I think regularly, regular price, they are still cheaper than channel locks. So that's hard to beat, right? And they got everything. They got like these uh, ones that are kind of modeled after those connect packs or whatever. Very nice stuff. Lifetime warranty. Very affordable. Um, and there's nothing wrong with these. Like I use these in my daily bag. Um, they're really nice. So I can't really speak to like down in the States what you guys can get, right? Uh, Home Depot has tons of stuff. Uh, Weha is easy to get and it's very affordable. Um, for sure, those are things you can start with, right? I know guys that started with tool bags from Walmart that don't last forever, but you know, it's something to get you started, right? Uh, but yeah, just get what you can afford. You, you're not going on the snap on truck like right away. Um, or, you know, buying a set of weird joker wrenches. You don't need that stuff. You get gear wrench, those kind of things, right? Gear wrench is rebranded on everything to everybody, right? Um, again, it's just affordability. What can you afford at the time? Um, Hopefully you get a good mechanic you're working under and he has stuff for you to use. Uh, I don't really know how it goes too much in the construction. I never really spent much time. I did a little bit of construction of like uh, handicap elevators and vertical seas and Lulas. Lulas were starting to be really big when I was starting. Um, but yeah, I do service and maintenance and pretty good chance you're not going to be starting out in that. Uh, yeah, so good pair of work boots that are comfy. Uh, I wear Carhartts all the time. Can't go wrong. Um, but two things, two other things. I don't know if I showed you guys. I repaired this here. Um, I don't know if you can see that well. I had to like super glue it back together. I've yet to put it back together. I don't know how I'm gonna, how much I'll trust it or whatever. Right? I'll play around with it a bit. Um, but another broken thing. I tried this. I carry these five mil and a three mil for working on uh, blind valves. I do a lot of those. Uh, and I had this five mil, which takes out the stem for the, like the solenoids. And I gripped it with two hands and gave her a crank. And I twisted this in here. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that. The lighting is not the best right now, but uh, it actually twisted this inside that holder. I'm sure the holder is not damaged. This is the plastic part, right? But I'm having a hell of a time getting that out of here. As you can see, I've tried different pliers and stuff. I don't have a vice set up here at the house, so uh, that's the next thing at the shop. But that's kind of a piss off, but... I'm sure this is fine. It's just this little guy that I'll have to replace. But uh, the kind of exciting, cool thing that I've been waiting a, a little while for. Uh, if you guys follow Klein on Klein Tools on Instagram, you'll see that they had this uh, canvas bag that you can get like your own name on it or whatever. 
So this just came in yesterday or two days ago. Like the package of the box is unbelievable. It's so nice. Klein Signature Series. American Pride. You get the uh, bottle opener. You get the barbecue utensils, which is pretty sweet. Also, part of the reason why I'm not doing this many YouTube videos is because I've gotten a little ridiculous with uh, using my smoker. Um, be careful you get into that. That's highly addictive. Um, but yeah, this there's the canvas bag right there. Put that here. So you can see the MQ elevators on there. The Klein tools. It is the deluxe black canvas tool bag, 13 pockets. Really nice uh, leather buckles and everything, right? Nice and stiff. I, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for. Uh, it was one of those things. You may have been a little slow at work, stumbling through. Uh, well, that's cool. Like a kind of a small magnet there, maybe. Shoulder strap. It's like a seatbelt material, actually. And there's our 13 pockets. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna find a use for this. I'm not gonna be dragging around on top of elevators, getting covered in oil and stuff. Pretty much just wanted it for this because I think that's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so I've got, uh, I'll touch a little bit more on like what to expect as a new tech as, as, as much as I can give you, right? Um, I got, I'm doing an inventory of all my tools and tool bags. Uh, I'm gonna be getting rid of some of them. I'm getting quite the collection. Uh, I almost have my maximum bricks uh, pack out set up emptied and going through it to reorganize and like I said, do inventory. Uh, so I will have that up soon. Another guy asked for that and I, that's, he's totally right. It's been like a year and I haven't visited that again to go over it. The thing's amazing though. Uh, the only thing you can't compete with with the Milwaukee is Milwaukee has like 500 different things for their pack out. And to my knowledge, Canadian Tire hasn't come out with anything for theirs. Um, what else is there? I guess that's it for now. Smoke meat. It's the only way to go now. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, uh, thousand subscribers. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's anything to do for a giveaway, right? If you guys have any ideas, uh, leave a comment down. I don't mind doing something, uh, but maybe a tool or something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, being that I usually just show elevators and stuff. Uh, I don't really have much for elevator parts. Maybe I uh, could do something crazy like one of these old guys I got. Something like that, like vintage thing or something. But uh, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. See ya.